Glad to have you join us on the newsroom, Mang Simisoladikun. The case file of former National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Olisa Metu, has been reassigned to a new judge of an Abuja Federal High Court. According to reports, the case has been reassigned to Emeka Inwite, a new judge who was recently transferred to the Abuja Division after the retirement of Anwuli Chikere. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, AFCC, in 2016 arraigned Metu over seven counts of money laundering bordering on him, allegedly receiving 400 million naira from the Office of the National Security Advisor. The House of Representatives Committee on Public Accounts has on Tuesday grilled the Commandant General of the Federal Fire Service, Ibrahim Lehman, over the 1 billion naira spent on recruitment and logistics from 2017 till date. The committee is probing the service over audit queries issued against it by the Office of the Auditor General of the Federation, which said it discovered that there was only a recruitment exercise within the period under review. The committee was, however, not satisfied with the explanations made by Lehman. The panel consequently resolved to write to the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Bureau for Public Procurement to demand the account statement and expenditure of the service. The Senate has passed the Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau Establishment Bill 2021, which is to investigate accidents in all modes of transportation in the country. Speaking on the bill, Chairman of the Senate Committee on Aviation, Senator Smart Adeyemi, in his presentation on Tuesday, said the bill sought to provide an effective and institutional framework for the prevention, regulation and administration of safety investigation of transportation occurrences in Nigeria and anywhere Nigerian interest is involved or the transportation vehicle is a Nigerian carrier. Adeyemi noted that the bill's passage and assent into law would, amongst others, facilitate quick investigation of accidents, create a much safer environment and reduce death rates across the country. In COVID matters, UK government scientific advisors have warned that lifting of remaining COVID restrictions in the UK will negatively impact vulnerable sections of the population. In a report, members of the Scientific Advisory Group for Emergencies Behavioral Science Subgroup advised that in the event of remaining restrictions being lifted, policymakers and communicators should seek to mitigate potential economic and social harms to those identified as clinically vulnerable and those from deprived socioeconomic and minority groups. African fintech Flutterwave has raised $250 million in a Series D round that tripled the company's valuation to over $3 billion in just 12 months. At $3 billion, Flutterwave is currently the highest valued African startup, surpassing $2 billion valuation set by SoftBank backed fintech Opay and FTX backed cross border payments platform Cheaper Cash last year. According to the company, the new funds will drive Flutterwave's ambitious expansion plan to accelerate customer acquisition in existing markets and growth through mergers and acquisition. A South African court has dismissed former President Jacob Zuma's attempt to remove the prosecutor from his upcoming corruption trial. Zuma's lawyers had been appealing an earlier ruling rejecting his attempt to have led prosecutor Billy Downer taking off the corruption case. The former leader faces 16 counts of fraud, corruption and racketeering related to the purchase of fighter jets, patrol boats and equipment from five European arms firms. In sports, Super Falcons captain Assis Satoshala and Leicester City defender Ashley Plumtire have arrived at the women's national team camp in Abuja ahead of Friday's 2022 African Women's Cup of Nations final qualifying clash against the Lady Elephants of Ivory Coast at the Moshud Abiola National Stadium, Abuja. Friday's encounter, which kicks off at 4 p.m., is the first game the Falcons at, will play at the Abiola Stadium since defeating their Senegalese counterparts 2-0 in April 2016 in the final qualifying round of the 10th Alcon Finals in Cameroon. That's the update at this time on the newsroom. Join us at the top of the hour for more updates.